This is a world first revolutionary battery, which is using silicon to, well, provide what some people are saying is game changing energy density and charging speed at the same time. Prologium have just unveiled this, well, to be fair, revolutionary battery. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. I'll be talking about battery technology, about solar wind and the disruption of many different industries at the Sydney Electric Car Show. I'll put a link in the description. It'll give you 20% off tickets, but to see me there, give a keynote speech that's entirely free. I'd love, absolutely love to see you. The world's first 100% silicon composite anode EV battery has been unveiled. Many companies have been working on using silicon in anodes. This enables the energy density to be much, much higher. Panasonic and Tesla have been working on this for quite a while. This new battery can apparently charge in 8.5 minutes, which is, well, clearly game changing. And Prologium's 100% silicon composite anode enhances energy density and massively increases fast charging. Prologium specialized in the development and production of lithium ceramic batteries. They've unveiled their 100% silicon composite anode battery. And the battery made its premiere actually just a couple of days ago at the Paris Motor Show. According to a press release by Prologium, the battery technology has been adopted in partnership with Germany's FEV group in order to make battery packs that will be used in electric cars. So this appears to be beyond the theoretical point, beyond the point of just testing, but getting to the point where they're actually going to use this in the big time, which is kind of exciting. The company says the next generation LCB battery surpasses traditional lithium ion batteries in energy density and charging speed. And as you can see, the charging speed is just truly staggering. I haven't seen this kind of charging speed from a battery before. That said, we do have batteries in the industry today being used in cars in China that can charge in 10 or 11 minutes. So, I mean, this is a step forward, but it's not a huge jump in comparison to what we already know is on the market. That said though, it is definitely a step forward when it comes to commercialization of lithium ceramic batteries, especially lithium, lithium ceramic batteries using silicon in the anodes. And this honestly is definitely what we're gonna see in the industry. Now, it may not be Prologium's batteries that'll be in your EV, but we do know that Tesla and Panasonic are working on using silicon in anodes to increase energy density of batteries and that Panasonic have basically guaranteed that that will be happening by 2026. So this is definitely what the kind of technology we're gonna see in wide mainstream use across the EV industry. So what are these battery features? What does it do? Well, Prolog Gym's 100% silicon composite anode enhances energy density and fast charging. And the system achieves a volumetric energy density of a staggering 749 watts, watt hours per liter and gravimetric energy density of 321 watts, watt hours per kilogram. So 321 watt hours per kilogram, that is a much higher energy density. Tesla's batteries are speculated to be at around 250 to 260 watt hours per kilogram. As you can see, going from 250 to 60 to 321, that's a really big jump. But here's the crazy thing. The company projects they can get to 355 watt hours per kilogram by the end of 2024, which is a pretty staggering number. Now that's at the pack level, not at the cell level. So 355 watt hours per kilogram would be about double the, or a bit more than double the energy density of today's, say, for example, the BYD Blade battery. However, it still falls short of Cadle's condensed battery. Cadle, the world's largest battery manufacturer, they currently manufacture for aircraft and for, well, to be honest, other purposes. You can put them in EVs. Apparently, they'll manufacture them, mass manufacture them in 2026. They manufacture the condensed battery, which has an energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram, which is even a step further. I mean, that's a bit more than 10% of the energy density of these batteries. When compared to traditional lithium ion phosphate batteries, which have an energy density of between 160 to 205 watt hours per kilogram, and lithium nickel manganese cobalt batteries, which are NCM batteries, they have an energy density between 200 to 300. You can see these batteries have surpassed what is currently in the mainstream. Use, whether that's for use in electric cars or other purposes. The company says they will widen the gap up to 77% by the end of 2024. I don't know if that means 77% compared to who, who knows. Anyway, the test data that we've seen shows the cell can charge from 5% to 60% in five minutes. And honestly, 
That's basically meaning it's on par with how fast you can fill your gas tank up with gasoline or diesel. 80% charge, 10 to 80% takes 8.5 minutes. You know, I mean, obviously charging speeds at, at this time, at this point in time, are much slower than that for the average, say, average EV buyer. But this is what we're looking at in the future. I think in 2020, 2030, 2035, you're gonna find most electric cars on the market will charge in probably between eight to 15 minutes, which is, you know, gonna change the game when it comes to comparing how fast it takes to charge versus how long it takes to fill up your tank with gasoline. Prologium have introduced the small battery, big future concept. They're saying that this kind of battery enables you, this battery technology, it means you can put a smaller battery in your EV, making it lighter, more efficient, and obviously giving you just as much range as existing EVs today. With only 66% of the total energy capacity of current lithium ion batteries from 83 kilowatt hours to 55 kilowatt hours, Prologium has cut vehicle weight by 300 kilograms, which is 661 pounds. In theory, that's true. I mean, you could put a battery pack significantly smaller and get the same range, meaning, yeah, reducing weight of the vehicle by 300 kilograms, 661 pounds, making it much, much more efficient. Or you could put the same size battery in and get, you know, 600 plus miles of range from something like a Tesla Model Y long range, for example. While the weight cut will benefit electric cars, using Prologium's technology would mean that range and charging speed would be drastically different to today. I mean, if someone said to you, uh, why would I get an electric car? They're not very good. You could say to them, well, my EV charges in 8.5 minutes and I get more range than your gasoline or your petrol powered car. That's what we're gonna be saying within a few years time. This does outpace the industry's average 30 minute charging time and reduces the wait time by an incredible 83.3%. To give you some context here, when I was charging the Tesla Model 3 Highland in, in, the, in California, probably took me around about 30 minutes on average to charge from around 10 to 80%. Xpeng G6, to give you some context as well, you can charge that from 10 to 80% theoretically in good conditions in around 20 minutes. Now, this is quite a bit faster than some of the fast, fastest charging EVs you can buy today. The company unveiled its strategic partnership with FEV at the Paris Motor Show, which showcases how the battery packs are actually being integrated into EVs. So this is pretty, pretty legit. This is not like a, a YouTube video here designed to get clicks. This is actually a legitimate product that will be in mass use, well, at least in some form of use in electric cars within the next 12 to 18 months. This collaboration shows Prologium's progress from making EV parts to developing cell modules and packs. Interesting Engineering says that the use of modular cell design allows for easy repairs and facilitates cell recycling, reducing maintenance costs and increasing the resale value of used EVs. Our next gen battery technology effectively addresses many of the challenges in the electric vehicle industry. Our goal is to be a game changer in the market injecting new energy into the electric vehicle sector. I guys think that this is legitimate. This will be in some some electric cars, probably more expensive. These won't be cheap batteries. They'll be a little bit more expensive. Oh, well, probably approximately twice the price of today's lithium ion phosphate batteries, but you will be able to buy some models of EVs. And I'll point out to you guys when I do future videos, which EVs have these batteries. Generally, I like to focus on that kind of information that you won't find on mainstream uh, car websites or mainstream uh, media websites, I usually often will talk about the batteries that are in an EV and whether or not I think they're actually good. So make sure you stay tuned guys, looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, bye bye.